name's Holly Sylvester. I'm Community Outreach Advisor for RHS Garden Bridgewater, which is the new RHS Garden in Worsley in Salford. Um, I'm here today because I, well, primarily I used to work at Hume Community Garden Centre as Activities Coordinator, um, so I still have a very like lovely connection with this place, and Kath invited me to come and do a workshop on um, an introduction to plant propagation. Um, I did deliver a couple of introductions to permaculture courses when I worked here, uh, and I worked with Kath closely on developing um, the gardens and following permaculture principles. Um, Today I uh, had a huge audience which was a little bit overwhelming for um, an introduction to plant propagation. Um, This time of year is absolutely perfect for collecting seed, saving seed uh, and it's something that not that many people do and I think it's a really important thing to share and a really good skill to have. It's totally easy peasy really simple um unfortunately yesterday was very heavy rain so it weren't not quite the perfect optimum conditions for seed collecting but ideally on a nice dry calm day uh, when the seeds aren't damp or wet you'd go and collect um, and kind of encouraging people to look at what seeds they're buying so a lot of the f1 hybrids that are sold you can't collect seeds from them they won't come true to type or they might be sterile and they're bred in very controlled conditions in laboratories um so just going back to those open pollinated varieties kind of saving our seed heritage really and also looking at things that are adapted to our climate so we're in the northwest here things that grow really well down south probably won't at all here so growing fruit and veg and flowers and anything that's going to be happy here and give us high yields um, so these are Babington's leek so this is the Hume Garden Centre Forest Garden um, and we were collecting some of these bulbils earlier so this is the flower stalk and these had a lovely flower on and these are the tiny little bulbils that developed um, and each of these it's technically if you look after it a new plant so um, with the group this morning we were just collecting some of these um, now is a really good time to do this um, and you can put them straight in the ground so these will probably just fall and multiply here but by collecting them you can either pop them up in some compost and keep them in just a slightly sheltered area but outside um, and they'll just root in the coming months and get going and grow in spring Um, or you can just pop them straight in the ground in your garden Um, and there's lots of opportunities in the garden centre here we were collecting calendula seeds um, and we were looking at the American hawthorn as well and um, having a nibble on the fruit and getting some of the seeds out the centre of that.